Today, we're going to take it back to the basics. We're going to take a look at how to use, and I'm going to use Microsoft Office in the example with PowerPoint, but you can use any of the applications, either Apple or Google or whoever, to create presentations. But I'm going to show you how to use your home printer to create nice little handouts um, that are dual sided that you can use kind of fold in the middle that look very nice so stay tuned I'm going to walk you through the strategy on how to do that with your printer that doesn't support double-sided printing but you need to have double-sided printing in order to do these little brochures so stay tuned all right the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and um, open up PowerPoint so for me I'm using Office 365 and or Microsoft 365 and I can open up PowerPoint here by just clicking on um, on the, the app launcher there or I can go in here to Microsoft 365 and click on um, PowerPoint from here so I can use either version I'm going to use the web version for this video because uh, a lot of you are probably using the web version and quite frankly it really doesn't matter that much which version you use okay so let's go ahead and use this and we're going to go ahead and create a new template okay so here we have all of our existing templates and we want to create a new template that's funny i don't it's funny i had to pause the video because i don't usually use microsoft online for creating powerpoint i'm like how do i create a new one it's right here create a blank presentation see all right so let's go ahead and open up this new presentation and we're going to be just kind of brought into the same screen that we're always brought into so first thing you want to do is you want to go in here and you just want to highlight this and get rid of it because we don't need it for what we're doing here now we want to print a folded uh, brochure right we want to take this piece of paper in a landscape mode and then we're going to fold it in half we're going to put an image here we're going to put some text okay so how do we do that the first place we start is really to insert um a uh, just numbers on the page this is the easiest way uh to to go ahead and see exactly what we're talking about so we're going to put a number here we're going to put a number over here and we're going to kind of eyeball um, where the middle of this is going to be so we're going to go ahead and put in here um well i'm i can't believe how lost i am without um there we go okay we're going to draw in a line now for me i like to, in powerpoint I draw my lines kind of like this. You can hold down your shift key and make it straight. But if you draw it on the edge here, it'll kind of snap into place for you. So it kind of snaps in there. Now there's lots of ways to do this. It just happens to be the way I'm doing it, which is not overly successful at this time. Microsoft, there we go. Um, sometimes their, their graphics programs are a little wonky in my opinion I, I use other stuff but nevertheless let's try to find it and we're just going to eyeball where we think the middle of the page is okay so that looks about right so hopefully you're following along with me I'm going to pause right now take a pause so you can catch up so go ahead and open up PowerPoint and do exactly what you see on my screen pretty simple stuff we're just putting in these two lines we did that by inserting um through the home button okay and uh, i'm sorry through the insert button a text box and then a shape okay and then that shape is a line that's all we're doing here one two three four easy now notice the proximity of where two is and one is we want all this because we're going to want to understand where our top margins are and our bottom margins are so you're going to kind of get an idea of where that is so let me pause here go ahead take care of this yourself and i'll be right back all right great job you've got ahead and and taken care of this let's move to the next one 
So what we're going to do to create the second slide is we're just going to do a right click here and we're going to say duplicate slide. Now we can do a control C as well, Charlie for copy, and control V, we can do that, or we can do a right click and say duplicate slide. We're going to do that. There we go. That's pretty easy. Now we've got both of the slides, but we're going to change this number. To, so to change this number, we're just going to click there real quick, do a three, click here real quick, do a four. Oops, got to delete the two though, do a four. Okay, so go ahead and catch up to me. This is pretty simple. We just copied over this slide or in Microsoft terms, we duplicated this slide and then we dropped it right in here. And the reason why we did that is because now we have a three and a four and a one and a two. Now, if you're really concerned about your printer ink, let's go ahead and just double click on this bad boy and we can go ahead and do lots of things to this slide, excuse me, to this image if we want to, right? We can change its properties. We can do all kinds of things, okay? So we're just going to kind of leave it alone. I did a right click there and we can change the, sh the outline and the style and things like that. But we're just going to leave it like this because we're going to kind of keep it simple. So the next step we want to do is print this slide. Now, we're not going to print it as a complete deck. We're going to print it as one slide and then as the other slide. So let's start with slide one. So we're going to go up to here to file. We're going to go to print. Okay, and we're going to say print full slides. No, print notes. Okay, we want one slide per page. We're going to say print, and it's going to open up a PDF file. Now, this is where it gets a little more complicated because you have to go to a PDF. If we're using PowerPoint, and we're going to show this, I'm going to show this to you as PowerPoint. If we're using PowerPoint, it doesn't do this, okay? But here, we just want, we don't want all pages. And we want to send it to our printer and we just want custom and then we're just going to print page one okay so notice how page two went away and then we'd hit print once we hit print what's going to happen is this page will print out and what i suggest you do is remember first of all what you do so let it print and set on your printer then you pull the piece of paper out of your printer, open up where you put the paper in, don't flip it, don't turn it, don't do anything to the piece of paper. Literally, just if I'm standing in front of my printer, I'm grabbing a hold of the edges of that paper and I'm just kind of pulling it straight out away from the printer. I'm opening up the little area where I put my paper, where I put my new paper, and then I'm putting that piece of paper I just printed on, which has a one and a two, and I'm sliding it inside of the print cartridge. Now, <clears throat> I go back in and I do the same test, but for this time, I'm going to print pages three and four. So again, we're going to print pages three and four, but let me create this real quick inside of, um, we're going to cancel that out. Let me create this inside of PowerPoint real quick, just to show you. We're going to go to PowerPoint. We're going to do this quickly, blank presentation, okay, again, we're going to pull this off like this. Now, I don't know if I can do this, but let's see. Let's say I copy that, see if it'll paste over. I don't know if it will. All right. Well, look at that. It did. That's pretty cool. It did. Okay. So it copied over. You see one and two. And then I'm just going to hit duplicate or duplicate right here. And I'm just going to change this to slide three and slide four. Because I want to show you what it looks like on PowerPoint. So this is the exact template that we're using here, that we're using here. Okay? It's the exact same one. No, no difference at all. So this is online. This is with the application loaded. So whatever you're using, it works both ways. So here to print the second page, what we're going to do is we're going to go to File. We're going to go to Print. And then we're going to say... I want to print just this page. Now, it's important to note here, notice the margins that it's creating. Okay, so you need to be mindful of that and how it lays into your, your printout of how you're going to do things. And here under settings, see it says print all slides, but remember we've already printed the one and two slide. We're just going to say print current slide. 
Okay. And then we're going to hit print. We got to pick the printer. Then we're going to hit print. Now, what this will do is it will automatically print um, on top of the pages one and two that you printed here, we did in the previous step. You're going to see here at this point, did it print perfectly on the back? And then you want to take your piece of paper and fold it at this point. So fold it and then unfold it. So fold it the way you want it to look. Okay. Usually, you know, we open things, for, open up like a book, right? So fold it like a book and then take and go back and see, okay, on the front, that is number four, for example. And on the on the inside cover, that's number one. And the text, when you open it up on the right side, is number two. And number three is the back cover. So whatever that looks like. And then you begin to build your um, animation. So, or excuse me, or, you know, build whatever you want to build. Whatever it, that looks like, right? So you can add your images. Let's just say we're going to put this in here. All right. So, um, you know, we're going to add in our image and then we're going to go ahead and um, insert our text box. All right. So here, I'm just going to click on there. We're going to say, um, welcome to the book club. All right. And then um, we'll just put that under there like that. Pretty simple. And then we can take that same text. And let's say this is the cover, right? And you can say uh, reading for the week. Okay. And then uh, maybe we want that centered in here. So we're going to pull it out like that and click center. I know I'm going kind of fast. I apologize. Um, I wasn't going to show you how to use PowerPoint today, but I guess we're kind of bleeding into that real quick here. So then you can kind of go like that. Welcome to the book club. Everything, put whatever you want here. Uh, remember that you could take this image here and let's just say we want to copy it and we want to have it here, but we don't want it in its full strength. Um, we can go ahead and format the graphic and notice over here with transparency, we can put the transparency like, you know, that for example and then we can copy uh, text over the top of it if we want you know whatever you want to do right um, maybe we want to crop this image so we can just hit crop here and we just want a portion of it like I don't know that and put it over here on the margin you know whatever you want to do but anyways at the at the end of the day this is how you print this would be the front. Now, when you get done printing, get in the book all the way you want it, okay? When you're ready to do that, you're going to print it, and then you're going to adjust this line right here to where middle is on your first sample pages. Now, once you start putting content in, um, you want to try to make sure you have the fold exactly where you want it, and you have the numbers on exactly where you want your content. You don't want to put a lot of content, then you're just burning ink. Uh, to try to print this thing so just use it with the numbers when you get it all set and ready to go just go ahead and click on these things to do that by the way to remove these numbers hold down your left mouse button and drag okay I can do it that way I can click once with my left mouse button and hit the delete key or I can click on the image hold down my shift key and click on the other two images and hit delete so whatever you whatever works for you. Now when you print this, it'll print just like the booklet that you want to see. Sometimes um, I'll put a little like a little tiny dash right here. So for example, um, I may even put a period just so that I know exactly where my where my fold is supposed to be. So maybe I'll do something. Whoops, something like that, and then um, just kind of put it right in the center so that I know where the fold is supposed to be when I'm folding. So the problem is then you can see that dot on your paper, by the way, so when you print it. But 
like for me, um, a lot of times I'll print this. And if you notice here, when you hit print, notice that the dot is above, right? We have these margins. And I'm not going to go over how to adjust margins today. That's a whole nother video. But we can adjust the margins to get a little more out of this paper. But in this case, if you just use it by default, we're going to have some margins here that we're going to have to cut off. And it actually makes for a nice handout because it's an unusual size. You have to go through one more step to use a, a, a um, paper cutter to cut it off. But this would be in the cutoff spot. So you would just cut this off. So here you could put dots at each side to kind of see where everything is. Additionally, you could put dots over on where your edge is. And then you just cut those off when you get done. So anyways, that's how you do it. It's not that tough. And you can print uh, nice brochures and handouts for any occasion. Good luck.